Out of the way, everyone. I am in dire need of some chippies. Wait, is that Barry the prison guard? If Holly hadn't escaped my prison, I'd still be the warden. I wouldn't have to spend my days slinging grimace shakes. Might just try to sneak out quietly. Hey, it's you! Ronald, get her! <gasps> okay, that went south pretty quickly. What are the chances that I can get out of here with my life and some chippies? It's not looking good if Ronald McDonald keeps throwing burger sauce at me. Dude love his little crop top, though. Didn't know that that was part of the uniform. How am I supposed to get a snack when the staff is chasing me with a frying pan? <gasps> of course, the Maxuka. I'm not going back to Barry's prison. You can't make me. I'll fight you. I'll get my own frying pan. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Oh no. How am I going to get out of here? I need the Maxuka. Oh, what happened? My head hurts. The last thing I remember was the Maxuka. <gasps> oh no, where am I? Is that Grimace? Oh my gosh, I'm in McDonald's jail. Hello, can you open this door, please? I can't do that. Barry says Grimace must guard the unicorn until she can be taken to Barry's prison. I'm not going back to that place. Barry must prove he is a good warden. He needs to return the prisoner. Okay, can I at least have a prison tray full of hot chippies? No, if you were on good behavior, you can have one container of sweet and sour sauce. One sweet and sour sauce? That's nothing. Come back. Come back here. Ridiculous behavior. Remind me to never try to negotiate with a giant taste bud. I think it's pretty obvious that nobody in this McDonald's is planning on helping me. They just want to keep me in McDonald's jail until Barry can throw me back in prison, apparently. But if you want to help me in my escape attempts, then see if you could subscribe to my channel in the next five seconds. That'll show Barry. That'll show him how many people are on my side. Heh heh heh. Broke out of those cells pretty easily, but some weird drip coming from the ceiling. Is that Grimace Shake? This is a whole new part of the McDonald's that I've never seen before. Like I've seen McDonald's cafes and playgrounds. I've even seen a McDonald's cinema room, but I've never seen a McDonald's prison cell before. I guess there are all sorts of secrets hiding down here. The McDonald's jail, the Grimace Shake factory. What else are we going to find? down here in the depths. I'm terrified, but it's going to be okay. I just need to find my way out of here and get as far away from Barry as humanly possible and maybe pick up a couple chippies on the side if I am able to. Wow, they've really got like a Grimace Shake leakage problem going on here. Oh no, no, I'm like ankle deep. Ankle deep in Grimace Shake. Who left this burger on the floor? Okay, so slight issue. Here is the issue. <gasps> and he's already seen me. Great. Grimace told you to stay put. Okay, I'm starting to get the feeling that I'm not going to be getting that sweet and sour sauce for good behavior. I am pretty sure that I can outrun a giant taste bud with legs. He probably can't even climb stairs. Oh no, he can climb stairs. Okay, I'm going to have to run extra fast if I'm going to escape Grimace. Let's see if we can get this video to 1,000 likes. If I can get 1,000 likes, then I'm sure I can outrun Grimace. Wow, did you see that? Even the mention of 1,000 likes and Grimace just falls to the ground. I wonder what Barry's going to say when Grimace has to admit that he let me escape. Grimace does not look like he's in any hurry at all to inform Barry about the most recent prison escape. Maybe he thinks if he can keep all those other prisoners locked up, Barry might not even notice that I escaped. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I do kind of feel like I'm public enemy number one, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. What do you mean she escaped? Grimace only looked away for two seconds. Find her, tear the place apart, check all the cells, comb the vents. But Grimace, find her or that's the last shake you'll ever taste. Can't get enough of that Grimace shake. Maybe I can grab one on my way out the door. Hey, what the, this is, this is the boy's bathroom. Why is there a burger in the corner of the loo? That is offensive. If you are a burger person, you're probably shaking in your boots right now. We should probably do a poll. Put a burger emoji in the comment section if you're team burger, and a chippy emoji if you're team chippy. Oh, goodness. oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know there was anyone in here. It's so embarrassing when you bust into an occupied stall. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You're on the toilet and also dead. Okay, third time's a charm, and that's disgusting. Why can I see the stank? All right, now we're talking a pit. I love a pit. Might do a bit of digging. Hard to resist a bit of digging when there's a pit right in front of you. Whee! Wow, look at the size of this cavern. We got stalactites and stalagmites and somebody interesting over on that pillar. It's good to know that I'm not alone in the giant cavern. It's, you know, me and this weird skeleton person over there. Oh, good, they're waving at me. That's that's nice and friendly. Hello, are you also trying to escape a deranged warden and an out-of-control taste bud? You just let me know if we can help each other. Godspeed, Mr. Bones. I think I'm going to have to cross this rickety old bridge if I'm going to make it out of here. i got to be real careful because I can fall into that grimace shake and who knows what'll happen. It's too horrible to contemplate. 
Wow, as if I didn't have enough problems with the steadily collapsing bridge, I've also got to go through this skeleton mouth, apparently. What horrors await me in here? Whatever it is, I'm sure it can't be worse than Barry's prison, so I'm just gonna have to be brave. I'm gonna have to face down these grimace shakes and- Oh my gosh, what was that? Something very suspicious happening over there. Maybe I can ask this person. Hi, I am so glad to see you. Um, okay, was it something I said? Don't take it personally, Holly, you gotta focus on the boulder. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It looked like it was covered in sprinkles. Maybe sprinkles from the Grimace Shake. I don't want to get crushed by a giant ball of compressed sprinkles. That sounds like an awful way to go. But it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to get to the hidey hole. Getting real close to that ramp. Okay, here we go. Here is the ladder that will lead me to freedom. The ladder that will bring me out of this cavern. What are you guys doing? Bit of the old mind spins? Some telekinetic acrobatics? Old mate over here with his Tai Chi? And we're not out of the woods yet. There's a McDonald's employee in this room. How am I supposed to get past them? Looks like I need to go into that room on the left. Maybe I can sneak behind the pillars. Maybe they won't even see me. Maybe they won't hear me over the sound of their own gas. I gotta try. Uh-oh. So much for the being sneaky plan. We're gonna have to come up with a new plan, and the new plan is be extremely fast. Pretty sure that lever would have opened up the gate. Yes, it looks like it's open. We just gotta move really quickly because this McDonald's employee is really, really fast. Quick, get up the stairs. Woohoo, they're stuck in the wall. Uh oh, a bit of premature celebration on my part. I should probably wait until I am safely away before I start celebrating. You what? I got stuck in the wall. I am surrounded by incompetence. In my defense, it was a really big wall. I don't care. Find that girl. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. I think this is looking pretty promising. The stairs might lead to the surface and the surface might lead to the outside and the outside might lead me to an independent chicken shop where I can get some very good chippies and forget that this whole McDonald's debacle even happened. Oh my gosh, <gasps> whoops, is that okay? And the McDonald's employee is right behind me. No time to investigate the skeleton. I gotta get on this elevator. Lovely to see that you're no longer stuck in the wall, but I really must be getting going. I love how this started because I needed a snack and I still haven't got a snack and probably I'm gonna get caught because they'll be able to hear my stomach growling from like miles away. Huh, okay, this is interesting. Cafeteria or security training. Might be an opportunity for a snacky over here. I don't really wanna eat chippies off the floor, so maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll just get something from the vending machine. Ooh, that's delicious. <gasps> did that, <gasps> it did. That drink gave me super speed. Oh my gosh, it is such a lull that Barry is just leaving Powerade around for anybody to find. Like honestly, this is why he's no longer the warden. He is just not running the tightest of ships. Like without that power drink, I would be falling into this Grimace Shake left and right. Look at that, I'd be like drowning in Grimace Shake, but not now because I'm so speedy. Basically, Barry has given me a gift. The gift of speed. Although, I don't know if that drink's sitting quite right. I'm starting to feel like I might... Oof, now I feel better. All right, team, come with me. We're heading up to the surface. There's gotta be a way out of this place, and my gosh, we are going to find it together. Just keep climbing the purple ladders. Oh, okay, it looks like we're back in, back in the prison area. McDonald's jail is much larger than I thought it was gonna be. Find a ladder. All right, well, I don't have any calls to make. I'm mostly just focused on escaping, so sure, I'll just have a look in the storage room. Seems like a logical place for a ladder. Beautiful, right behind the Happy Meals. That's where we keep the ladder. I'll be taking this. Not actually sure what I need this ladder for, but if I see instructions on the wall, I feel compelled to follow them. Oh, here we go. It's to get up into the ceiling. Cool. A ceiling vent situation. I'm sure they'll never find me up here. Oh no, it's the big man. What are you gonna do, Ronald? Did Barry send you? Tell me the truth. Just kidding. It's one of those Ronald McDonald statues that they have outside of McDonald's sometimes. He's totally harmless. Unlike the spike pits below me right now, which are definitely not harmless, they are actually quite harmful. Especially when you got like a giant fan trying to blow you every which way. There's actually a surprising number of security devices in this McDonald's, and a surprising number of other prisoners. I've seen like quite a few other people who have been locked up here so far. And I don't know if this is a controversial opinion, but I just feel like there's probably no need to have a giant prison underneath the McDonald's. It feels like Barry just missed being the warden so badly. He's like, yeah, if I have to work at McDonald's, then obviously I'm gonna build a little prison. Barry shows up for his first shift. Someone asks him to fix the ice cream machine. 
They come to check on him, and Barry's just, like, built a dungeon in the basement. The manager's like, cool dungeon, I guess, but, like, what about the soft serve? Anyway, just need to turn off all these valves. Don't want to be trying to balance on a pole and get bowled over by airborne grimace shake. There we go. All turned off. Now it is safe. I wonder if that would even taste good. Like, could you have an aerosol version of a grimace shake? And then if you just want, like, a little sweetie, you can just, like, spray a little bit on your tongue. Would that be good? I don't know. Have I just invented something? Like, it feels like a good idea, but I will not be sharing it with Grimace. He does not deserve my brainwaves. In fact, I will not be sharing any more of my excellent ideas with the McDonald's Corporation until this underground dungeon is demolished. Like, I hate to be so harsh, but that's the way it's gotta be. Oh my gosh, just getting blown up the vent. Maybe this is the exhaust fan. Maybe it leads to the outside. Maybe I am gonna escape. Maybe it's all gonna be okay. These stripes on the floor are starting to remind me of chippies, though. Sure, it would be nice if I could just find one chippy that is not on the ground. Climbing endless ladders. Which one will lead me to freedom? I yearn for the surface. Ooh, a giant fan. That feels like it'll take me to the surface. All right, let's do this. We're floating. Floating down. Oh, 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 okay, that's cool. That, that, that works, too. I kind of thought we were going to float up a little bit higher, but no, I don't want to go back down. Who keeps leaving burgers and chippies on the ground? The food hygiene at this restaurant is deplorable. And you know what, Ronald? I'm not going to take it anymore. Walking around with your frying pan, trying to smack the customers when you should be focusing on hygiene. All right, Ronald, it's you and me. I'm going to have to get to that Maxuka if I'm going to stand any chance of surviving. Oh my gosh, he got me the burger sauce. Ow, I got burger sauce in my eyes. But I'll get my revenge with the Maxuka. Ow, that was relish. That really hurt. All right, Ronald, I've had enough of your nonsense. By the power of the Maxuka. Oh my gosh, did you see those fries? <laughs> that was such a good headshot. Almost there. You okay? All right, I guess that answers my question. Didn't actually expect him to explode, so that was a bit interesting. Please tell me we've got some chippies here. We got Grimace Shake, we got lettuce. There's just nothing. An empty Happy Meal box? A shocking lack of food in this restaurant. It's like all of the food I've seen pretty much has been strewn all over the floor. Ooh, a giant ledge. Might just yeet myself off the edge of this and... <laughs> Actually so graceful. How does she do it? Okay, so seeing some more skellies. More skellies than I usually see in a McDonald's. I'm pretty sure I've seen at least two so far. If you know how many skellies we've seen, please comment in the comment section. Give us some skull emojis. Show me the old skelly count. Exit, there's an exit. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for this moment. A giant fan, we need to do some floating. It's time to float. We did it, we made it, the golden arches. Do you think I'm finally gonna get out of here? Do you think they'll give me a happy meal for my trouble? Some weird looking characters in here and oh my gosh, you are kidding me, use the metal planks to get across? I feel like I'm being pranked. Okay, yeah, sure, fine. I will use the metal planks. For the love of all things good, please just give me the chippy. I wonder what Barry's doing right now. I wonder if he has heard tell of my escape. Well, I think that answers my question. Oh no, he's got a mech suit. I'm gonna have to give him everything I've got. Look, on the ground, it says shoot the arms. Ah, I don't wanna get crushed. One of the arms is gone. Almost there. Well, this is dramatic. I did it! I got past Ronald! I knew that Barry was too chicken to fight his own fights. If you send a clown, you're gonna get clown behavior. Since I'm already on the lam, might as well compound my crimes by stealing a McDonald's delivery truck. Do we think that gate's gonna open or should I just try busting right through it? Might try the bust. <laughs> that felt good. Hey, get back here! You belong in a cell! <laughs> Oh, whoa, I forgot my granny dropped me off to get chippies ages ago. She said she was going to wait in the car, but... Looking for a getaway driver, dearie. Okay, incredible timing. Escaping in style. Granny, I love it. 
Goodbye, Barry. Goodbye, Grimace. Goodbye, Chippies. Let this be a lesson. You'll never catch me alive. Why is Dad refusing to go to work? He loves prison. Well, sweetie, there's very tricksy unicorn who keeps jailbreaking. It's embarrassing your father. Maybe we can lock her up together. As a family. <laughs> Great idea. Everyone get their matching handcuffs. Well, what happened? Last thing I remember, I was eating some froyo, and then I woke up in prison. Again. Cake for mom, though. Might just have a quick sneaky snack while I plan my escape. Gotta keep your energy up if you need to prison break. Ooh. All right, not quite sure how I ended up in prison again, but the jailbreak instinct has already taken over, and I'm using this dessert spoon to tunnel out of my cell. Very strange that I don't remember having committed any sort of crime. Also, there was no trial. I don't know how I ended up in this prison. If you think this is an outrageous miscarriage of justice and you're rooting for me to escape, then like this video, it might just give me the strength to go on. Um, hello, who are you and what are you doing in my vent? Can I help you or, okay, just disappear? That's normal. Does anyone else think that that gal looked a bit like Barry? Help, turn around. Meet the family, oh, that's cute. Oh, wait a second. That's no ordinary family, that's Barry's family. There's his daughter and his wife and his robot. Bit worried I might have stumbled onto something of a revenge plot. What is she doing? Does she know how to use binoculars? So a bit of a curveball here, gang. Looks like last time I was just locked up by Barry, and this time I'm being locked up by his whole family. Bruh. What happened here? Covered in kisses and missing feet. You know what? I don't want to know. I'm just going to get in the vent. Barry's weird daughter better not be in the vent. Ooh, wee, I'm flying. This is cool. I'm like a sugar glider. Some weird noises. What's going on down there? Are those... Pictures of me? Well, that's alarming. Why are you so obsessed with me? The evidence is mounting that this imprisonment is personal. Uh-oh. Nobody embarrasses my dad and gets away with it. Jail forever. Okay, so the punishment does not fit the crime. And like, I'm kind of sorry that I embarrassed Barry, but like, not really, because you can't just be throwing people in jail for no reason, and I will be escaping again. Hey, look, Mrs. Jen has released the new menu. Beef, sand, dirt, and eyes. How am I supposed to choose a pizza topping with options like that? If you had to choose a pizza with two of those toppings, which two would you pick? Let me know in the comment section. Personally, I would be chowing down on that dirt and sand pizza. I'm like trying to be polite to Mrs. Jenna, like, mmm, bit gritty. Nice texture. Lol, Mary down there trying to reach me with her nightstick. Not gonna happen. Okay, looking promising. Let's get this escape underway. And uh-oh, okay, we've got some company. That's Mary, we've met, Barry's daughter, and I'm pretty sure that's Barry's super buff wife. Sorry to the whole fam, but I will be escaping. What's going on over here? We see you on camera. I mean, yeah, it's a prison. I kind of assumed you'd have surveillance. Bit of an intense zoom and oh my gosh, who's that? Just more and more members of Barry's family coming out of the woodwork to defend his honor. Pretty weird family if you ask me and um, didn't mean to interrupt your flamingo bath. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna give you and your flamingo a bit of privacy. I'm just gonna place this chair and okay, what happened to the chair? More disturbing developments as it turns out this prison's walls eat chairs. Seriously, why is this so difficult? It's like a gal can't even escape through a vent anymore. The vent is the last bastion of safety in a world full of chaos, and you're going to make things so difficult for me? Rude. That's okay, I'll just, uh, I'll do the old jump and hit. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Never try to get between a gal and her vent. Was kind of hoping it would lead to freedom and not this spike pit situation, but we'll take what we can get. Wow, I really must have gotten underneath Barry's skin in order for his whole family to try to lock me up like this. All aboard! I can't believe that Mary, Barry's daughter, has taken time away from her lucrative train driving career just to lock me up. Obviously, this one's personal. What's going on in the bathroom here? We got a noob, graffiti, wash your paws, or else. I'm not accepting feedback on my paws at this time. Now, what's in here? Okay, that's disgusting. Why does it look like soft serve? Moving steadily on. Hello, is there an escape room here? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Quite dramatic though. Did you not see the sign about washing your paws? Okay, last chance for escape. What's up? Sorry, burrito. Oh my gosh, did someone eat a burrito and then destroy the bowl? Kinda works out well for me. Um, what's going on here? So what, like, the whole family are cops? Even Granny and Gramps are cops? I'm not gonna wait around to get arrested by old people. I'm getting out of here. This is shocking information. Barry is recruiting every generation of his family into the police force. They're just hungry for power. They love authority. Here's what I'm thinking. I think we should send them a powerful message. I want Barry to know how much support I have behind me. Like, he might have his whole family, but I have an entire audience of cuticorns out there who are rooting for me to escape this jail. 
So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now before I climb that ladder. Barry will be shaking in his little booties when he sees how many subscribers I have. He'll be trembling so hard his little hat falls off. Looks like Mary's popping out of the hole to give me the fist of anger. You can be angry all you want, Mary. I've got justice on my side. I am still shook to the core by the discovery that Barry is recruiting all generations. Children, grandparents, he wants everyone to be a cop. Where does it end? Next thing you know, he's going to be turning the family hamster into a cop. Terrifying stuff. Uh oh, it's Mary. And she's sleeping. She's doing big shrugs in her sleep. Might just take this opportunity to bust out a few fellow inmates. You can thank me later. Oh my gosh, she's fighting Mary! Quickly, save yourself! They're defending me! Don't worry, I'm coming! Just hold on one second. Is my guy wearing pointy shoes? <gasps> wow, he got her! Teamwork for the win! Mary and Barry might have the cop family, but I've got the whole prison on my side. Ooh, might just, uh, might just take that off ya. Yeah. Thank you very much. Love the security of this prison. Just one giant key. That's a great system you got there. Okay, public transit in the prison. This is truly unexpected. Hop on train, now. Hop on train, now. I mean, sure, I don't actually know where it's going, but I could, I guess I could hop on the train. I guess I could drive the train. Wow, when I break out of prison, I am so coming for Mary's train conductor job. This is a whole vibe. Minus this terrifying portrait on the station wall. Who commissioned this? Does, is that art? I don't like it. I might, I might go this way that says this way. Okay, so I'm still in a prison, just a different part of the prison. Policewoman entertainment? Hey, gal, love your golf cart. What's the entertainment? <laughs> Catching me. I see. Should have realized that this random lady cop is not my friend. Oh my gosh, is her golf cart stuck on the door? That's so silly. An escape, an escape for me. Oh, she uh, got loose with her golf cart. I better not fall down because gal is trying so hard to catch me right now. She is doing the most. Unfortunately for her, I live for the vent. Hmm, what do we got here? There's some sort of fan situation. Looks like someone wants to propel me to freedom. Literally, what has just happened to my arms? Am I okay? Oh my gosh, it's like the wind is so strong. My arms are like flying out behind me, but my hair is like not a strand out of place. This is so silly. I am screaming. <laughs> I need to watch where I'm going. I am so glad that the other inmates are not around to see this right now. I'd end up with some sort of silly nickname. They'd be like, that's Kawaii Crazy Arms Cunicorn. Which I guess is not the worst nickname in the world. If you want to call me Crazy Arms, I will not object. But a surprise for me. Is Gal eating food off the floor? So sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I think this counts as an emergency. I think my weapon's full of Swiss cheese. Uh oh, oh no, I'm just throwing food at her. She's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And oh, whoa, whoa. So that was pretty weird. I think I just overfed a policewoman until she exploded, but now I have the key, so I guess that's kind of a win. Doesn't feel like a win. You're going to jail. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't wink at me. Incorrect, actually. I am leaving jail in this vehicle. Oh yeah, on the move. Did my wheels just do a weird flying thing? Oh my gosh, they do. <laughs> this is the weirdest car I've ever seen. Actually shocking behavior to just leave a vehicle here with the keys still in the ignition. Like, obviously I'm gonna steal it. Like, if Barry really loves being a prison warden, like, unrelatable, but sure, whatever. Why doesn't he just try to do his job better? There's obvious places where he can improve. There's no need to turn this into a personal vendetta against me. I'm just doing what anyone in my situation would do if they are wrongfully imprisoned. Obviously, I'm going to do a little escape. Eat healthy. Like Jake. Whoa, I was kind of kidding about the cop hamsters, but now I'm starting to get a little bit worried that Barry has drawn the family dog into this situation. Police family. That family looks so cute. Why do they got to be cops, though? Why couldn't they be, like, the firefighter family? That'd be kind of cool. Let's destroy Polly. Did that robot just say what I think they said? Oh, no. They're doing experiments on my friend with the pointy shoes. And that goofy-looking farmer. Unacceptable. So I've angered the robot. And things are not looking good for me. Don't want to end up in one of these test tubes, so I might just see if I... Ooh, a bucket of water. A plan, a plan in my head. A plan is forming. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I got them. They're short-circuiting now. Do I want its head? Could put it here, just in case I... Oh, that opened a door, apparently. Um, guys... Don't want to alarm anyone, but this looks a lot like a robot army. Drink cola water. Yeah, I probably could use a bit of sugar. In 
now I have super speed. Okay, well, that's probably a good thing given the robot cop army assembling beneath me. I am absolutely terrified. Like a regular robot army, that would be terrifying enough, but this is a robot army that we have found inside of a prison. Cop robot army. There is no way that this is going to end well. Wait, did that just say experiments? What kind of experiments you doing in here, huh? I don't like the experimental lab. I want to go home. Maybe I'll just punch through this door. This seems like a dead end. Am I going to have to fight the experiments? Okay, uh, let's see if we can just get out through a vent. A nice safe vent. Vent won't hurt me. Is this a dead end? Uh, oh, oh no, I found something. I found a, a cannonball. Okay, I mean, I guess that's good. Might use the cannonball for something and help, help. Oh, uh, okay, I got it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh no, giant cop lady is not going to like that. Oh, she's retreated into the darkness. I don't think I need to know what happens in this room. Looks scary. I'm just going to leave you to it. I've actually got enough on my plate with the terrifying experiments, so we'll just leave the zombie cops alone for now. Turn back. I mean, I'd love to when, okay, what, now the robot is Polish. Oh my gosh, and they've added vent security. That is so rude. Not 100% sure on what's going on here, but I do see some buttons that look very pressable, so might just pressity press those. It just feels nice to press a button, you know? And now through this monster's mouth. <laughs> what? Girl slide, boy slide. I don't know that the slides need to be gendered, but I don't make the rules. So down the girl slide, I guess? It's kind of pretty. Okay, kind of a vibe. Except where are we going? Where are we going? I'm scared. Um, okay. Am I in like cop baby daycare or something? Hey, what's that cop baby doing with the teddy? Oh! <gasps> That was evil. And now they're doing push-ups. Like it didn't even happen. The bear, the bear wants help. We gotta find that button. Pretty sure I see it behind here. So I might just press that. And are they gonna chase me or? Okay, time to leave the cop babies. Vent main. Once I've escaped this place, I'm gonna have to contact the proper authorities because I just do not believe that we should be training babies to be cops. Let kids be kids. That's what I say, not prison wardens. Like, you've got your whole life ahead of you to be a prison warden, if that's what you really want to do with your life. But, like, no need to start age, like, three. It's too early. Just, like, have a tea party or something. Gym. Okay. Does this have anything to do with Barry's buff wife? Oh, yeah, here she comes. Oh, no, she's chasing me with a giant dumbbell. If that thing falls on me, I'm toast. I'm getting all flustered. Why can't you use your muscles for good? She totally got me. Okay, a bit better prepared this time. I just need to remember not to run in circles. Just run for the elevator. Press it, press it, press it. <gasps> okay, we are safely descending. Where to, though? That's the question. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. That's a giant experiment. Why doesn't she have any lips? Cool, cool. So I guess that'll just haunt my nightmares forever. Wait a second, where did it go? If I have any Polish viewers that want to translate this for me, that would be so super cool. As for me, I'll just be doing a bit more tunneling with my dessert spoon. Whoa, I'm fast. I'm so fast. You're joking. I do all this tunneling and I'm still back where I started. Oh, she saw me. Can she climb stairs? Sounds like she can. That's not a good thing. And oh, maybe she can't get over the landing. I'm not going to worry about that too much, actually. But just check out this chest. <gasps> a big blue key. I love big keys. Again, got some thoughts on basic security. What is happening in here? Okay, scary monster. Don't go. Got some spooky stuff happening. Oh, whoa. These pillars are very unstable. That's so dangerous. They're just fully disappearing. Wow. Oh, and some big skulls. What is going on in this prison? Like, Barry thinks that I'm the problem. He's the problem. This is not normal. What is going on here? There's skellies. Skellies everywhere and little hats. Hoomst! Hoomst is this? Just leaving skellies lying around is just a strange, strange for a prison. Strange for anywhere, really. Oh, ooh, an escape. Yeah, this looks dope, actually. I would love a minecart right about now. Yeah, let's roll to our freedom. Rolling to freedom. What's happening to my cart? Oh, no, there's a glitch in the matrix. I've accidentally torn through the fabric of reality. Is this salvageable? Am I ever going to get back on the track? Or, okay, this is weird. So, slight issue with the Minecraft freedom. 
But it's fine, actually, because we seem to have reached the outside, but also it's closing behind me, so pressing on. Um, that looks a lot like a cop dog. Is this endless cop dogs? Barry has turned every dog in the neighborhood into a cop dog. Oh my gosh, they used to be so cute. Ah, you don't understand. I'm the goody. Oh my gosh, they're so close. Hmm, do I steal Barry's car? Rhetorical question, I will absolutely be stealing Barry's car. You have to speed now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to speed, but oh, there we go. Now I got a speed boost. Oh no, I'm falling. I tried to speed boost. I don't know how to speed boost any boost here. Oh no, just kidding. I figured out the boost function. That's pretty cool, actually. I like how the I like how the wheels fly. This really does feel like the home stretch. I can feel a kind of tentative hope building up inside me. Am I going to escape? Wait a second, who's this? Hello, is everything all right? <gasps> it's a trap. It's you. And suddenly I'm a robot. Okay, that was unexpected. We are robots fighting with swords. All right, I'll play. Almost there, almost got her. Wow, she's looking real beat up. Scratches everywhere, and oh, did the door just open? But she's not defeated yet. Oh, she just ejected herself into the sky. Shocking twist, does that mean I defeated her or not? She could still be out there somewhere. If she survived the fall, that is. Might just get in my chopper. This is not the last you'll hear of me, Barry and family. We unicorns don't take extrajudicial imprisonment lightly. You've seen me escape a daycare. You've seen me escape a prison. But have you ever seen me escape a daycare prison? Well, that's what's happening today, my pals, because baby Barry is in charge and he is not happy with us. Don't be fooled by those cute little eyes. He is nothing more than a self-appointed authoritarian in a diaper. Well, your reign of terror ends here, baby Barry, for I am in the vent. Does that say keep punching? What, punch the vent? Oh, well, I guess I could keep punching. Ooh, that was kind of satisfying. I'm guessing you're probably wondering how baby Barry ended up taking charge of this daycare and turning it into a makeshift prison. And I'd be wondering that too if I hadn't seen it all play out before my very eyes. I guess the first time that I realized there might be some trouble was when I found out that Baby Barry is the son of the daycare owner. So he kind of thought he was better than us, thought he was better than all the other kids, had a bit more authority. Oh, why am I up here? Didn't mean to go up here, I meant to go inside the vent. There we go. Anyone else a little bit worried that we haven't run into Baby Barry yet? If you suspect that he might be right around the corner, give this video a thumbs up and in the meantime, I might get myself a little refreshment. Unless I have to pay for it, in which case the confrontation begins. It's him, the little guard, the tiny dictator. He may still have a soother, but he is deadly with that nightstick. Do not crawl, do not walk, you gotta run! <laughs> okay, too late. Oh, hey pals, just gotta warn you, we got a baby over here with an overdeveloped sense of self-importance. He's got a uniform, he's got a lot of opinions, he thinks that if it's nap time for him, it's gotta be nap time for everyone, and oh no, he can climb the stairs, since when can he- <gasps> Oh, he's retreating. Oh no, the cells! This is where baby Barry puts the kids who he thinks have been very, very naughty. Who gave you the authority? And look over there, the most evil prisoner cell! That's where baby Barry puts the kids who won't share their treaties with him at snack time. I tried to explain to him that that's not evil. It, obviously, it's nice to share your lunch, but you're not obligated to share with Baby Barry. Uh-oh, you've got a bit of an obstacle. I'm sacrificing myself for the greater good. I'm throwing myself into the fold. I'm gonna get that button, and oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to escape him, though? Gotta get to the stairs. But he can climb the stairs, just gotta get up the stairs, and okay, how'd I do? I'm too scared to look behind me. I know Baby Barry is just a baby, but he's very authoritative. Into the vent, and oh, down through the vent, and where are we now? Oh, of course, the toilet. Where else would we end up? A little bit concerned because this usually ends with me flushing myself, and okay, that's a stink cloud. What is happening in the. Ew, gross! Thank goodness there's this hole in the floor. I was so worried I was gonna have to flush myself down the stinkiest toilet I have ever seen. Well, okay, looks like the toilet literally fell through the floor, and where are we now? <gasps> Look at that green glow. It's like bioluminescent algae or something. There I was thinking I was just gonna end up in a regular regular sewer again, but it turns out I have discovered a unique ecosystem. Not me starting this obby trying to escape a baby daycare prison and ending up a biologist. Oh, okay, so the bioluminescent algae, it stings. My first discovery, it is very dangerous, and what am I supposed to do with this bridge? 
Oh my gosh, did you see that? It was like the planks came together at the exact right moment. That was so cool. And what's with the glowing skull doorway? That's a bit scary, baby Barry. And oh my gosh, it's very scary. What is this place? There's blocks and crates and some sort of machines. Be careful, says the floor. What do I need to be careful about? Oh my gosh, okay, that's it. That's definitely what I need to be careful about. Keep your arms and legs inside because we've got imminent danger. There it is. Rolling molten danger. I gotta say, this whole tunnel system down here is pretty impressive, especially for a baby. Obviously, I do not agree with what Baby Barry is doing here, but I must give him credit for his effort. But Baby Barry needs to learn that just because his parents own the daycare does not mean that he's in charge and does not mean that he gets to tell everybody what to do. Speak of the tiny devil. Okay, Baby Barry, your reign of terror here is over. Oh, why does it look like he's wearing some sort of wrestling mask? <laughs> ah, scary baby. Okay, so Baby Barry does not seem like he is open to feedback at this time, so I might just try to escape him because I don't want to be caught on the other end of that nightstick again. And oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get out of here? How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to go when he's chasing me? Okay, um, he's quite fast. How am I supposed to do this? Oh no. I think the wrestling mask has only made him faster. Oh, it opened the door. Okay, gotta get through and up the stairs to safety. Surely he can't get me up here. Oh, he's gone. When Baby Barry told the whole daycare that he wanted to play pretend and he would be playing the prison warden, I really did not think he was going to take the game this seriously. A big surprise to me and oh my gosh, okay, can I just sneak around him into the darkness? And oh no, I fell through a void. Help, I'm falling into nothingness with a beautiful view. All right, not sure what the point was there, but I am moving on because I see what looks like a lift, and I love a lift. I hope it will bring me up to the more daycare section of the daycare, not this, like, weird underground lair that Baby Wobby has created. Oh, here we go. Look, cafeteria and security training. That's more what I'm talking about. Got to say, the daycare really did look a lot more friendly before Baby Barry did his, like, prison makeover. This looks hard. Might actually need a speed cola for this one. Oh, yeah, that's refreshing. Woohoo! Speedy on my feeties. If I can run this fast, maybe I can find the owners of the daycare. Something tells me that they might not be very happy to know that Baby Barry has turned the entire daycare into a prison. I don't think that he asked permission for that. I think he went a little bit off script. I feel like the chances are pretty high that they will arrive back at the daycare, see what Baby Barry has done, and be like, Ooh, bad for business. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Sorry, that's, that's the speed cola. So like I was saying, it started out small. Baby Barry was just being a little bit bossy, telling all the other kids at the daycare what to do. He was hogging the digger in the sandbox, saying he was the only one allowed to use it. Every time we played hide and seek, he said that he got to be it. One time, he even said that pizza day only applied to him and everybody else had to eat Antonolog. And finally, everybody else started to be like, Baby Barry, I feel like you're taking some liberties here. You're not actually in charge. This might be your parents' daycare, but it's not yours. And he's like, yeah, it is mine, actually. I am the big boss. And that's when he started wearing the uniform. I think I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can I jump up? Oh, wow, I'm climbing. Obviously, after Baby Barry started wearing the uniform, it was all downhill from there. He really just went mad with power. He got all, I'm the prison warden and you have to do what I say. I think the truth is that some babies are just bossy. Some kids are bossy. If you have any nightmare stories about kids at your daycare being really, really bossy, you should leave them in the comment section. Do not worry if they're not like prison level Baby Barry bossy. Obviously, Baby Barry is an extreme case. Not all bossy babies are going to do major renovations to turn a daycare into a prison. But that doesn't mean that it's not interesting to hear about people's bossy, bossy requests. I do kind of think that Baby Barry's plan backfired here because after he turned the daycare into a prison, obviously nobody wanted to stay and now nobody wants to play with him. Seriously, all anyone wants to do now is just escape this place, which is why we have to turn off all of these nasty little valves. Okay, that should do it. Have I got rid of all the very dangerous steam? Missed one. That steam is so hot, it'll just burn you right up. It's very dangerous. But I think now I've got them all. Let's see if the coast is clear. I don't see any steam. I don't see any baby berries patrolling the joint. I do hear some steam though, which is a little bit concerning, but I don't know, it must be somewhere else because I cannot see it. I'm starting to wonder if maybe Baby Barry is just crying out for help. Maybe he doesn't realize that being the bossiest prison warden baby makes people not want to play with him. 
If you think about it that way, it's actually quite a tragic tale. Maybe there is room for baby Barry to learn and grow. Maybe I can try to have another chat with him once I finish getting blown down this ventilation shaft. Let's all go down here at baby Barry's daycare prison. Non-stop action, non-stop bossiness, non-stop obstacles. But where will I end up next? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Climbing again. I just had no idea that the ventilation system was so large and cavernous. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. What am I supposed to do now? Float over to this hole and oh no. Dang, I really thought I was gonna get caught in the fan. Let's try that again. Aim for the hole and yes, success. Now where do I go? What next, baby Bobby? When does the nightmare end? Oh, the cafeteria. Oh my gosh, is it time for snackies? Uh-oh, baby Gary the chef. It's baby Barry's twin brother, Gary. He is just as deadly, but he uses a frying pan instead of a nightstick, which is also terrifying. And oh my gosh, he is really fast. Where am I supposed to go? And where am I supposed to get my pizza pocket? Baby Gary, you are not the boss of snack time, and I will prove that to you with my food zooka. Oh no, he followed me. Okay, and he can go over the counters. Thank goodness I've got the food zooka fully loaded. It's really hard to get him with the food zooka when he's also chasing me. And oh no, I hit a wall. <gasps> he got me. Got the frying pan. Okay, got all my leftovers fully loaded in the food zooka. I am ready for action. It's actually a great waste saving device. Anytime there's leftovers at the cafeteria, I just scrape them off into the food zooka. Something new to launch at Baby Gary. Every flavor you can possibly imagine. That one's ketchup, that one's bolognese, that one's chicken stock, that one's mac and cheese. He just doesn't stop. Got him with some sticky date pudding. When will the madness end? Oh, I think his health is getting low. I just gotta keep him on the ropes. Oh wow, he exploded. Oh wow, Baby Barry is not gonna like that. When he finds out that I have food zookaed his twin brother into oblivion, he is going to try to lock me in this daycare prison forever. He's gonna try to give me a life sentence, which is not gonna work for me because I get picked up at 6.30. Is this how I get to the car park? Because I'm kind of hoping my mom will be here soon. And oh my gosh, I'm just like free falling and that looks like a bit of a jump. Oop, she's levitating. Wow, that actually went way better than I expected. Okay, I've added up to here with Baby Barry shenanigans. The time to play Baby Prison Warden is over. We need to convert this place back into a daycare. Oh, exit. Yeah, that seems promising. Where's the exit? Oh no, not another fan. How am I supposed to... This looks dangerous. Oh, he's installed lasers. He is relentless, this baby. He will stop at nothing. I don't even know where a baby gets so many lasers, let alone the know-how to install them, especially in an challenging environment like this one. I am doing pretty good though, kind of proud of myself. <laughs> oh no, spoke too soon, the fall, the fall is far. I could totally do this though, I'm so close to the end, I'm not gonna get fooled by a couple of lasers set up by a power hungry baby. I wonder if I'm gonna get one more chance to talk to baby Barry or his parents or my parents. Is anyone gonna believe me that I've spent the entire day in Baby Barry's makeshift daycare prison? Probably not, except for you. All of you watching this, you can be my witnesses. I'm starting to think that I might actually make it out of here. That looks like the outside. Is this the way to my escape? Is it finally time to go home? Nope, it is time to fight Baby Mech Barry. Good thing I saved the food zooka just in case this happened. Baby Barry, you need to hear this. You are not the boss of this daycare, and I do not appreciate being held here against my will, which is why I am shooting you with all of these peas and pineapples, apparently. Here comes the airplane. Oh, I think I got that one right in his mouth. <laughs> his health is going down. I might win this fight. I just need to keep up the barrage. If I don't run out of food scraps. <gasps> The impact from the blast sent me flying. That was truly unexpected, but it looks like the coast is clear and now I can get in the SWAT car? What just happened? It disappeared. Why am I back inside the prison? This is not where I wanna be. I wanna be going out of the exit. I wanna get picked up by my mom, but it doesn't look like she's here. I did make it outside though, so love that for me. I don't wanna wait though. I guess I could make my own way home. Would love if there was a helicopter up here or, oh no, a, a giant glowing fire ring. That'll do, I'll take this home. Larry, please, we gotta talk. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. You will never be able to escape this prison. Serve your 1,000 year sentence.
A thousand years? I'll be a dusty old skelly. Unless I come up with a plan to bust out of this place. Now, let's see what we're working with here. Warden Larry, guard in the hall with his super cool tattoos. Got it. A sink full of acid. Unlikely to help me. This kitten encouraging me to believe that I can bust out of here. Wow, I feel inspired. Let's do it. Goodbye to my bacon cellmate. I cannot stay here. I crave freedom. Oh, wow. That was easy. Plot twist on the whole prison escape situation. Turns out the bars just fall off when gently pushed. It's almost too easy. Wait a second. Warning police shark infested waters below. What do you mean by police shark? Kind of feels like two scary words just smushed together. Now, are we talking police officers that have managed to transform themselves into sharks? Or are we talking about sharks who are working with the cops? New fear unlocked. Acid is bad for your lungs. Keep away at all costs. I like how I originally thought this prison escape was going to be so easy, and now I'm dealing with police sharks and acid at the same time. And we haven't even started to talk about the cockroach infestation that's happening here at the prison. It's like there's a terrifying fear for everybody. Okay, I gotta drain this acid. Turn all three valves to drain. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about where the acid is draining to. Beautiful, scenic, waterfront, mountain scenes happening outside of the prison here. Are we just, like, draining this acid directly into the bay? Because that seems like a terrible idea. Like, obviously, I'm afraid of Warded Larry and I want to escape, but I might be more scared of that angry otter family who lives in the bay. But the acid, she a draining, and that's a problem for later. Oh, hey there, friend. Are you also escaping this facility? Got any tips on how to deal with police sharks and irate otters? Yeah, me neither, but I'll let you know if I think of anything. Now that all that pesky acid is out of the way, I can finally get down the stairs and find the hidden button. Wait a second, there's a poster here that I'm a bit interested in. Albatross Island Prison! Press the button and protecting the people since 1935. Hmm? Get back to your cell! Who, me? Oh yeah, no problem, I can totally get back in my cell. I'm certainly not trying to sneak around the guard and find the key. Yeah, I'll just uh, pop back in here. There's no need to chase me because I am in the cell now. And okay, you're still chasing me. All good because there's a hole in the wall and maybe I can find a way to lock you in this cell, Larry. Or I don't need to because you are just stuck in the bars. He's not that smart, is he? Oh, the key. That's a win. A win for mm -hmm. me. Who said that? Ow, my head. So I got overconfident and the comeuppance arrived swiftly. This time I will not be underestimating Larry. I think I've already got the key, so does that mean that I can just head straight up here? Can Larry use stairs? Doesn't look like. Kind of looks like he's trapped. Do I open this door and- oh nope, that is Mr. Smiley's cell. We shall be leaving that alone. Mr. Smiley, don't you go thinking that I've forgotten what happened in the daycare. Okay, here's the right door. And my kitten friend is here to tell me to believe. Believe that I can plunge to the core of the earth. Or the basement of the prison. I mean, this could be a good way to escape. Those bars do seem like they would do a good job at keeping out police sharks. But evidently, the path forward is the vent. So let's head for the vent. Love how there's so many other prisoners down here trying to escape. Like, what up, Sarah? The camaraderie unbeatable. And okay, she sliding. The face first sliding. Uh, 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 okay, well, at least we didn't slide into the lava. Love that for me. Ah oh yes, the traditional Roblox pit of magma. I love how this game is hitting every deep fear. Like, we've got acid, we've got police sharks, we've got cockroaches, and now, a lake of fire. Please vote in the comment section for which one of these you think is the most terrifying. And if you have any other suggestions, I'm sure the obby creators are always looking for something horrifying. What's with these fireballs? They really don't leave you much time to get past, and oh my gosh, they're really, really hot. I can feel my eyebrows singeing. Yeah, let's get out of the volcano section of the prison. I feel like good things do not happen in the volcano section of the prison. But on the upside, it's been a while since we've seen Larry the Warden, which does make me think that maybe he doesn't even know that this volcano section of the prison exists. That or he's very scared of magma. A second set of golden handcuffs for me, a nice little collectible. Don't mind it. And then what better way to escape than to blast myself into freedom or maybe the garbage area. I think, I think I'm in the dumpster. And not only am I covered in garbage shoes, but also my school bully Jimmy appears to be a fellow inmate. Hey Jimmy, are we friends now? We went to the same school and okay, yep, that sounds about right. Jimmy's like, we weren't friends on the outside and we're not friends now. Well, luckily, Jimmy also not so smart. So I can probably just sneak behind him. Maybe I can jump over here. Can't get over the fence, so I'm just gonna go right behind him. I feel like he won't even notice. Oh, no, oh my gosh. Have they hired my high school gym teacher to work at the prison? This is like my own personal nightmare. 
Like the indignity of being wrongfully convicted and having to serve a thousand year sentence, that is enough. But you're saying I have to serve that time with my high school bully and my least favorite teacher. I cannot think of anything worse. Like literally bring on the police sharks, I am ready for it. Like that is an epic would you rather question, I'm putting it up on the community board. Like would you rather swim in shark cop infested waters or serve a thousand years in prison with your bully and your least favorite teacher? So you really thought you could escape my prison? Compared to the other monsters here, this is easy. Psst, kid. Oh good, all of my historic enemies return. Clean up my tables and I'll let you escape through the kitchen. An unexpected ally. Um, incredible redemption arc for the lunch lady. Enemies to friends, we love to see it. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that she's not just using me for the free labor and actually we are on the verge of becoming besties. People will be like, oh my gosh, how did you two become friends? And I'll be like, it's a funny story actually. I was escaping prison, so she was a lunch lady. I was an inmate, classic tale. Anyway, one day I was being chased by the warden and she was like, bestie, escape through the kitchen. And I was like, dang, maybe I will build a pile of boxes so that I can claim another pair of golden handcuffs and then find a vent to escape through. So this is where it all begins, I guess. A beautiful friendship. Sure am glad that there's lots of boxes of inventory here that don't seem to have been unpacked yet. Something nice and solid for me to build a little tower. I'll bash this vent in. All right, we're in the vent. We're venting. We're going full vent. I have been vent pilled. All right, hopefully this is the outside. Nope, it's a weird toy room. What's going on here? Those things look a little bit familiar. And oh no, it's darling. I am obsessed with the number of characters that are in this obby. This is so much fun. Let me know in the comment section how many of these obbies you've played. Tee hee hee. Join me for a tea party if you want inside. Signed, Darlin. Well, I've actually played Darlin's Dollhouse, so there is no way I am going in the warden's office. I do not trust that tea. Oh my gosh, the outside. Oh, this is good. This is promising. I think we're making some progress. Just got to avoid a little bit of light electrocution and I should be swimming in cop shark infested waters in no time. I never thought I would be so happy to say that. Obviously, I'm hoping for some sort of boat, but I would settle for a paddle board. I'd even settle for one of those unicorn floaties. Okay, we got a bit of a laser situation here. The sign says to find cover to pass through the lasers. Can I just jump on this box? Oh, can I go in the box? I am the box. I am confused why the lasers don't cut the box. What is going on here? I said no thank you to attending Darlin's tea party, but it appears that I am attending whether I like it or not. What are the chances I could just sneak around the side without Darlin noticing? She does seem to be staring straight ahead. <laughs> it's pretty creepy. If I can just avoid slipping in any of the tea she spilled on the ground, I might be able to get away with it. This might be loud, better hurry. Okay, quick, before she notices and then just run down the vent, is she behind me? I hope she's not behind me. Uh, okay, we seem to be safe. I bet she didn't even notice I was there. I am so sneaky, just sneaking around the vents. And what's with the giant pair of scissors? A gift for you. Let's play again sometime. Darling. Okay, I am a fool. She obviously knew I was there. Nice present though. Wait, this looks like a situation that needs a pair of giant scissors. Release all prisoners, Darlin, another unexpected ally? Wait a second, what's happening? You really thought you could escape prison, eh? It's time to go back to your cell. Sorry, Larry, but that's not gonna happen. I gotta get that button. 1v1 and I have a blasty cannon. This should be easy enough. Is Larry's only weapon these rotating handcuffs? So, oh, nope, there's a mini warden. He, they're so small and cute. Might just blast him though, anyway. All right, Larry, I see how it is. Slightly more complicated when we have the tiny warden chasing me and the handcuffs. But I still think I'm gonna win this one. Almost got him. Stay out of my way, mini warden. I did it. He's falling. And that means I get to press this big, exciting button. Release all prisoners, please. Whoa, was that me twice? Oh, and Mr. Smiley. Oh, good. I forgot about him. Uh, that's a bummer. Beautiful day for a prison escape, though. Ow, my face. 
This is so embarrassing. Pretend you didn't see that. You didn't see me fall. You, you just saw a dramatic prison escape. It was graceful. It was triumphant. It is apparently going to end with a flying fox. Oh my gosh, that is so majestic. This is how I want you to remember me. Flying to freedom. The wind in my hair, my palms, quite sweaty, but just don't think about that too much. We're feeling strong, we're feeling powerful, we're heading for cup shark infested waters, but I think I see a boat. Not just any boat, that looks like a luxury yacht. Huge vibe if I escape prison in a luxury yacht. Imagine the look on the girlies' face when they think that I am serving a thousand year sentence and then I cruise on into the harbor. Okay, so maybe a small detail, but do we know who the boat belongs to? Whose boat is this? Am I stealing a boat? Is this another crime? Am I doing a larceny? I've only been out of prison for like less than 10 seconds and I think I'm already doing crime, but on the other hand, freedom and a badge. Hey, I want a pizza. Can't do that, Chuck. You've been given a lifetime ban. Oh, you're all gonna regret this. Sorry about that. That's Chuck, a local nutty inventor type who apparently is turning his house into a fun house. Anyway, time for the next order. Hello? I need pizza. I'm sorry, we're just about to close. Bring me pizza now. But sir, and they hung up on me. Cool story. Obviously, I do not love that the last two customers today have decided to be incredibly rude to me. But that's customer service, baby, and I'm so close to being off shift and in my gym jams. I'll just drop off this last pizza on my way home. Maybe I'll get a nice little tip. Sure, it's a bit weird that this order has an address but no name on it, but I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. If you think that it is disgusting to treat customer service employees in this way, then like this video. I want to see if we can get this to 10,000 likes. Justice for pizza bakers. Okay, let's figure out where this pizza is going and then get me straight on the couch. I bet you didn't know that this town was called Blockswidge. Kind of rhymes with sandwich. Oh no, you have got to be kidding me. That's the house that we're delivering to? That's Mad Chuck's house. He has tricked me into making a pizza against my will. Pizza! There is the man himself. You know exactly what you've done. But I have already made this pizza. I might as well be compensated for the pizza. And Chuck, let me assure you, you best be tipping well. What do we think he'll be holding? $20, $50, $100? Or maybe he just won't answer the door at all. Um, hello? Anyone home? I just saw you in the window. There's mail on the floor. It looks important. You want this pizza or not? You tried really hard to get it and hey. What the? <gasps> okay, I hate that. I hate that. What's going on? Oh, good. I'm trapped. Okay, so quick question. Do we think this has any connection with the missing pizza delivery drivers or nah? Probably nah. This is pretty scary though, and I feel like I need your support, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe in the next five seconds before Chuck finds me and- Give me that pizza. Okay, so plot twist. How's it going, Chuck, old buddy old pal? I've actually got a delicious pizza for you upstairs, and- You're not going anywhere. You're gonna stay down here, and you're gonna bake pizzas forever. Okay, so it's not giving man who is going to see reason anytime soon, so the new plan for the day is escape. Chuck's got another thing coming if he thinks I'm just gonna stay in this basement for the rest of my life slanging pizzas and kneading dough. Like, I do not make pizzas for my health. I make them for cold hard cash money. So if you're a fan of the za, just make me an offer. Ooh, nice bathroom though. Love the clawfoot tub. Were I not in the middle of an escape, I might have a soak. Ooh, a shovel. That could come in handy. I'm just gonna say that's my shovel now. I know these are probably meant to be muddy footprints, but they kind of look like dog biscuits. Oh, and they're leading outside. Let me out. Let me out. All right, all good. I'll find my own way out. If I ever make it out of this place, I am sorely tempted to remove pizza from the menu so that we don't have this kind of issue again. Like it's a pizza pasta emporium. We could survive on pasta alone. Oh, hey, this looks like it could come in handy. I'll be taking this. Now I just need a lock for this key. Bingo. I don't know, do you think my customers would be satisfied with just pasta? If you are a team pasta person, put a pasta emoji in the comment section. If you are team pizza all the way, put a pizza emoji. I'm doing a poll. All right, Chuck, what you keeping in the basement? Anything that will help me escape your madhouse. Hmm, a vent. I do love a vent. Oh, and some boxes. All right, I'm, put, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Old Chuck should have been a little bit more careful before he installed an extensive ventilation system the size of a person. Cause if there be a vent, I'd be crawling through it. Okay, what, where, where am I now? 
This is one of the more worrying aspects of being trapped inside the house of a mad inventor. There could be anything around the corner. We don't know what he's working on down here. Fueled by his ill-begotten pizzas. Dang, okay, another door closing behind me, trapping me in. The walls feel like they're getting closer. It's fine, it's fine, nothing to worry about. I will figure out a way out of here. Just gotta figure out how to work this elevator. Hmm, okay. What about this? Can I throw this at something? Look at that cracked vent. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would actually work. I am a genius, an evil genius. Maybe I will make it out of here. What the, um, okay, what's going on here? <gasps> Hot coffee. Someone's been here recently, a half-eaten donut. I can't spend too much time in this place. Gotta press this button, the one, two, seven. Interesting, interesting. Hmm, like some sort of code. Some sort of code that I could put in at this keypad. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with myself. Is it gonna work? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Wonder where we're going now. Into the depths. The depths of Mad Chuck's mad house. Well, joke's on you, Mad Chuck, because I'm not giving up that easily. Not when the only thing standing between me and freedom is this truly enormous spike pit. Well, I'm never going to be able to jump over that. Unless I had the help of a very large fan. Oof, that's barely an obstacle at all. I just have to become an amateur electrician in the next 20 seconds. All good. I'm very bold. Fortune favors the brave, and the fan is on. Time to test out this theory. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it! I'm invincible! Oh, oh, oh. For a second, I thought there was going to be another spike pit. All right. All good. Oh my gosh, it's giving secret lab. Okay, it's really giving secret lab. Okay, kind of starting to think we might have come across one of Mad Chuck's mad experiments. Do we think their arms got beefy from kneading too much dough? <gasps> okay, so things have taken a turn. Project Kyle? Yeah, I'm not having any of that. I definitely need to escape Project Kyle. I don't even want to have a conversation with Project Kyle. Can Project Kyle climb up of ladders? Or am I good up here? Ah, uh, finally, a pizza weapon. Hopefully this thing can inflict a bit of damage if I can ever find Kyle, or okay, he's right there. <laughs> and a bit of sauce, and a bit of cheese, and a bit more. Okay, just, just the arms remain. Got it. My pals, this is the clearest evidence so far that Mad Chuck is up to some truly mad stuff in here. He is, he's playing God. I'm starting to think that I was not his first choice for 24-hour on-call subterranean pizza chef. I think that he might have tried to Frankenstein himself up one over there in the lab. Old Project Kyle. And those missing pizza delivery drivers, they still might be in the building right now. Except, why aren't they making pizza? Mm, well, that's a bit sus, but uh, I'm sure that we'll, we'll resolve that by the end of the video. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Maybe all of those other pizza delivery drivers are off on paid holiday time. They probably told Mad Chuck, oh no, no, not me. I can't make pizzas in the basement this week. No, no, I've rostered it off. I'm heading to Cancun. What is this place? Is this a laundry room with a couch or a living room with a dryer? I'm confused. Ooh, a trap door. Love that. Just bust on through and oh my gosh, I'm outside. One step closer to freedom. One step closer to Jim Jams. Obviously barbed wire fence, still a bit of a problem, but all good. I'm sure we can address that later. Oh my gosh, look, Chuck's got a dog. Hey, bud. You look cute, you wanna play? And, oh, reader Hank did not come to play. Wonder if this is what happened to the last person who tried to play with Hank. I need to find a shovel. I've got a shovel. You really want me to dig up this grave? I mean, I'm not one to turn down a helpful hint, so I guess I'm a grave robber now. Not sure exactly what I'm looking for here, but <gasps> So that's one of my colleagues. Usually he has more skin. All right, this is begging a lot more questions than it's answering, and I've got a pretty bad idea, is this? A bad idea? Uh, Hank? You wanna play? Mmm, Hank loves the bone. Just don't think too hard about the bone. Best to, best to just forget about the bone entirely. We have to get out of here. Unfortunately, I'm just doing what it takes to survive, okay? I'm a survivor. What else has Hank been up to? Oh, burying books? That's a bit concerning. Hank, why do you hate literacy? I mean, sorry to bother you. Enjoy your bone. Really don't want to leave this out here for Hank to keep destroying. Might just quickly see if I can pop it somewhere safe. A bookshelf. That's safe. Oh my gosh. And there's a bookshape hole. Stunning. I'll just pop that there and oh, okay. Secret bookshelf. 
No word of a lie, I have seen a secret bookshelf in real life. It was the coolest thing ever. I kind of wish I could close this so Chuck doesn't know that I have entered the secret room, but it doesn't seem to be an option, so all good. I'll just um, climb up this ladder and see what else we got going on here. Why, hello. Oh, a key for me. I actually don't care if it's for me or not because I am being held here against my will, so I will be taking the key if it will let me. Oh, there we go. And up. Uh, am I falling? Am I? Wait. Just happened. I got the key, but now I am in a dungeon again. Endless dungeoning. Ridiculous behavior to be throwing me in dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. Okay, what's in the box? Oh, a sword. Okay, that definitely seems like it could come in handy. I'll take that. Wish I could chop my way out of the dungeon, but oh, oh. oh I can't chop my way out of the dungeon. <laughs> bit dark in here. A bit creepy. And okay, yeah, that's um. That's more than a bit creepy, actually. I mm, think I may have figured out why the other pizza shop employees were not on pizza duty. And unfortunately, it's not because they're in Cancun. Wow, when I dreamed of the day I would see my old colleagues again, I really did not expect them to be zombies that I would be fighting in a dungeon. And oh, I defeated the last one and the door magically opened. Beautiful. So sorry to my fallen comrades. I never would have done this were you not zombies. Wow, before I was just mad at Mad Chuck for wasting my time, but now it's become personal. Now we've got like a personal beef. It's gone turbo beef. It's like a meat lover's beef. Also, like, can we appreciate the lengths that Mad Chuck has gone through for this? Like, uh, he loves pizza, obviously. I love pizza, too. Everybody does. I'm going for pizza literally after I finish this video. However, there are other options, my guy. Check the frozen selection of pizzas at your local grocer. Look up how to make dough on YouTube. Get a sourdough starter. The point is, you don't have to be making it everybody else's problem, okay? Putting me in a situation where I have to fight my zombie colleagues is just rude. Also, like, I'm clocked off. I'm, like, not even working. I'm not getting paid for this right now. Obviously, I would love if my manager could approve this as overtime, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Like, I could try to explain to her, but I don't think she'll believe me. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, man, you missing a sword? You wanna hold this one? Looks pretty good on you and whoa, okay. Secret door. I have two minds about this because on the one hand, obviously, I love a secret door. Very cool. Um, on the other hand, I really feel like I needed that sword. The sword was doing a lot of heavy lifting for me, protection-wise. So let's just all cross our fingers and hope that we're not running into any more zombie colleagues. Just move this. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, okay. I think I'm, I'm, I'm back in the house. Back in the main part of the house. But perhaps I can get outside again with the help of a red key. Good to know. A little bit frustrating that it needs the red key when I have this beautiful gold key that I still haven't had an opportunity to use. It was presented to me by a statue and I fell through the floor for it and I... Oh? Ah. Okay. Cool. Alright, use my key. What horrors await? Oh, a beautiful painting of a deer. Unexpected. Oh, and a, and a picturesque window. Oh, that's, that's just stunning, actually. Obviously, I have complaints with this house in the sense that I am trapped inside of it, but architecturally, quite nice. Hmm, what do we see here behind the painting of the deer? Is that something back there? Might just move this aside and... Okay, now we're talking more secret doors. How nice would it be if I could just yeet myself out that window? That would show Chuck. That would really show him. Everything up here is so dark. I wish I had a flashlight. I don't know where I am. Ooh, nice windowless bedroom, and I think you might have a little bit of a mouse problem. Obviously, I don't want to judge. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're Bessie, and also, mice are, like, pretty cute. So, also, there's that. Oh, he's got a little sign. Oh, he wants some cheese. I get you cheese, bud. That'll show Mad Chuck. I'll feed all his precious Swiss Greer to that mouse. Hey, bud, you want a nibble? Switzerland's finest. You haven't had cheese till you had alpine cheese. And oh my gosh, he loves it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yes, mouse, come through. Wow, a random act of kindness that is aided in my escape. Unless I just unlocked a storage room that I can climb to the top of. I have been all over this house. It's up and down and up and down and to the basement, to the dungeon. And oh, a button. Love that. Helpful. I am a bit concerned that I've barely seen Mad Chuck the entire time I've been in here. You garbage and- Oh no, roaches! Oh, don't stay away from my feet, stay away from my feet! I'm forced to- Ooh, okay, I- yeah, I'm crushing him. 
Ugh, I feel a little bit bad about that, but they were coming right at me. Mm, this place is gross, Chuck. You gotta clean up after yourself. You can't just leave a bag of trash in the middle of the room. It's so disgusting. Hmm, what's going on here? Oh my gosh, that's not the real Chuck. That's just like a cardboard cutout. Yeah, maybe Mad Chuck is trying to turn his house into some sort of, like, fun house? Some sort of madhouse with all of his inventions? And, like, parts of it are fun, like slides. Slides are cool, but I kind of feel like something awful is going to happen at the bottom of the slide. I'm going to go with blue. Yeah, blue slide. Seems good. Seems good so far. It is fun. And, okay, but then, see, I, I feel like I'm in a... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, we're getting crushy. But I just have to punch this solid metal vent until I can escape the walls closing in on me. I don't think you're going to have many return visitors. You know how, like, they usually call them fun houses? Like, let's make it fun and not horrifying. Oh, this actually looks pretty cool. This is way more the vibe. Obviously, I don't really want to try to get a high score. I want to escape. I want to get out the door. I want to... It's not going to let me. Okay. Um, fine. Maybe I need to beat this high score. Huge improvement, Chuck. It's like, this is giving fairway. It's giving carnival. It's giving about to win a giant stuffed animal. I don't think he's actually going to let me win anything. A few moments later. What's the guy got to do to get a high score around this place? Is it high score? Yes, it is. And the door is open. We love to see it. Now that I have bested you in the fairway, Mad Chuck, will you allow me to escape once and for all? No, just another little teeny tiny creepy room. What is this? Is this where Mad Chuck observes the heavens? He's like, I'm not just into pizza pies and the thrill of invention. I also love the majesty of the stars. Honestly, in a lot of respects, Mad Chuck sounds like a pretty interesting guy. We could have had something of a friendship if it weren't for the uh, whole locking me in the basement thing. Is this going to work? Or oh, oh, door closed and we are heading up. Absolutely adore a vintage elevator. The circumstances are not ideal to appreciate it, but love it nonetheless. Oh, wow, this is cool. Up on the roof now, we probably got a view of the whole city. All of Blockswidge laid out below us. Um, does this work? No power. Oh, that's a problem. Unfortunate because I was really hoping that that was going to be my means of escape. Clearly this is one of Mad Chuck's inventions, so I don't know how safe it is, but it does seem to be the only way out of here. So I am going to do my best to locate that power source. Oh my gosh, this looks so janky. Hey, I can see the pizza shop from up here. I wonder if anyone's come in for the opening shift. Hello? Help? Probably just need to take care of this myself. All good. Taking my life into my own hands, and here we go! Okay, so far so good. Staying on the track! Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get stuck upside down. Gonna need a bit more speed if we're gonna be doing any more of those loop-de-loops, and okay, or that might just be the end of the ride. That's actually so fine with me. I don't need any more. Cannot believe I survived that. I've escaped the house, I think. Where am I now? I'm in the mines? Do I need a pickaxe? I do feel compelled to start mining. Do I love the mines? Do I yearn for the mines? Well, imagine if I found a diamond and I could quit the pizza shop. Hey, that's not a diamond. This is just a lava-filled cavern. Beautiful, obviously, but also dangerous and not what I was looking for. But, oh, what do we got over here? Bucks of the old dynamite. Yeah, I might take these just in case I need them. Is this a good idea? Feels like a good idea. I'm sure it's a good idea. How could jumping from pillar to pillar with a stick of dynamite be a bad idea? Oh, that was pretty close, but success. Hmm, and what a tempting pit you've left here in the earth. Might just jump in it. Hmm, always a nice relief to land in water. Okay, we got a cage, that's not good. We've got an exit door, we love that. And okay, look who it is. Finally decided to join us few new things since I last saw you, Chuck. I don't appreciate how you've treated me. I don't like what you did to my colleagues, and also I've learned how to use dynamite. So that's a problem for you, bud. Ooh. Wow, huge, huge problem, actually. Um, hope you weren't too attached to the top half of your body because it has completely disappeared, and all that remains is a pair of little leggies. So might just steal your axe since you're not using it anymore because you no longer have arms. Beautiful. A 
actually so rude to continue to force me to traverse these caverns after the day I've had. I will be taking the minecart. Let's go home. I think it's safe to say that all of Chuck's friends and family are on the pizza blacklist forever. So now you're sad the video's done, but it's fine. There's actually more. Where am I? The last thing I remember, I was in detention, and now... Is that baby Bobby all grown up? Fix stage 15 or I get mad. Days until release? 94,000 days. Okay, so that's 250 years. What is going on here? The bars, they're giving prison. Have I somehow ended up in prison again? Better investigate this piece of cheese. Move, suspiciously placed piece of cheese. Out of the way, Cheddar. I've got a mystery to solve. Ooh, that looks like an escape route. Wow, haven't even recovered the memory of how I ended up in prison, and she's already escaping. No prison can hold me. So while I climb this ladder to press a button that looks incredibly pressable, please let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas how I got into this pickle. Oh my gosh, a clue! I think I see a clue! Local teacher goes part-time as prison guard! Beloved science teacher, Mr. Stinky, has always had a fascination with the criminal justice system. My guy, get a normal hobby. Look at him, walking around with his nightstick. Oh no, he saw me. Did not think that I would end up spending the day getting chased by my high school science teacher who is cosplaying as a prison guard. Now how am I supposed to press my special button? <gasps> Whoa, that was like a wrestling move or something. So Mr. Stinky taking his responsibilities pretty seriously. I'm just gonna go straight for the button. I feel like if I can just press the button really quickly, then I can zoom on out of here. Where is he? Oh, coming around the corner. That's all good. I've opened the door and I can get through here and hopefully climb up the ladder before he, oh, he still chased me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might just have to get up the ladder before I do anything else. Mm, safety? Safe? Oh yeah, safety. So we have made some shocking discoveries in the last two minutes. Mr. Stinky is clearly out of control, and the only place I can seek safety is in the vent. And oh my gosh, okay, who left this dirty sock and this stinking cheese in my precious vent? Oh my gosh, oh, oh rotten beans, this is, this is disgusting. Why are there so many beans and socks and cheese and what is going on in this? Okay, Mr. Stinky has built a giant statue of himself. Things have gone from bad to worse. I was already concerned about Mr. Stinky's abrupt career change from high school science teacher to prison guard. That was already worrying enough. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Everywhere I look, it's like there's something more and more disturbing. Which means it's time to vote in the comments section for what you think is the most unhinged part of this hobby so far. Is it this graffiti on the wall? Is it Cyclops Bear? Or is it the truly enormous statue that Mr. Stinky made of himself? Lots to choose from. What's up here? Bobby. <laughs> cool trampoline. I didn't know that prisons usually had trampolines. Anyway, let me know in the comment section which part of this obby will be haunting your dreams. For me, it's probably Mr. Stinky's epic wrestling moves. I will see them every time I close my eyes. So the memories are coming back to me and I think I'm able to make an educated guess about how I ended up in this horrible place. So Mr. Stinky sent me to detention as Ooh. usual. Oops, I think it just got clipped by a laser. That's okay, we will rebuild, we will try again. Let me return to my story as I continue my laser descent. So like I was saying, Mr. Stinky sent me to detention, but I was chilling, I was daydreaming, I was doodling, I was having a pretty all right time, all things considered, being in detention and all. And then I heard Mr. Stinky say, this is supposed to be punishment. That's pretty much the last thing I remember. And then I woke up here, so I guess we know what his idea of punishment is. Wait a second, local hero saves daycare from giant baby. I remember that giant baby like it was yesterday. I'm that local hero. <gasps> There's a picture of me in the paper. I'm famous. Ronaldo, look at me, I'm famous. Wow, I wonder why Mr. Stinky's got that newspaper hanging around. Maybe he is jealous that the people think that I am a local hero while he is a local bully. Although, bully or not, Mr. Stinky looking pretty cool in these shades. Is that the cafeteria? I am so hungry for stinky cheese stew served with smelly socks. Of course, wonderful, my favorite. And Chef Stinky is so angry that he has inverted himself completely upside down and ran through an open flame. He's unstoppable. He's coming with his spoon. He's gonna make direct eye contact while releasing a thunderous fart. Nice one. Come with me as we try to avoid the stinkiest chef in the prison. There he is. See what you're smelling? That's not just the cheese. Unfortunately, it is also the chef. Oh my gosh, he's really fast. I really want to get to this crate. Rocket me to safety. I cannot take the stench any longer. 
Okay, so it doesn't smell as bad up here, but I'm not sure that I'm actually safe. We've got some sort of indoor lightning storm situation happening, and oh wow, what is that? <gasps> Could it be the cheese wedge of eternal power and wisdom? I touched it with my bare hand, and now I can move with such swiftness, such power, such, oh, long way to fall though, into the, yeah, into the lava. So I guess what we've learned is that touching the cheese wedge of eternal power and wisdom is no guarantee of success. Actually, it continues to be up to me, my strategy, my athleticism, my incredible dodging of swinging cans of beans. All of these things must be in place if you ever want to escape Mr. Stinky's increasingly impressive prison, really. I didn't expect such lava-filled caverns, nor did I suspect such fun trampoline action. But there we go. We got over in the end. I'm starting to wonder what the end game is here. Like, Mr. Stinky knows that he can't actually lock up students in prison instead of detention, right? Is he, like, aware of the fact that he is acting completely unhinged? Ooh, take a shovel. Oh, here we go. This looks like a shore escape. Love tunneling during a prison escape. It is so on brand. Do we think this is part of Mr. Stinky's prison or, oh, sorry about this, technical difficulties. So yeah, do we think that this is part of the prison that Mr. Stinky built or do we think that maybe this crystal cavern was carved out by other students trying to escape? Maybe the other kids who got sent to detention dug their way down into this crystal palace and then maybe they harvested some of these crystals and then maybe they became super riche. Oh, just falling into the void one more time, let's go. Might harvest a crystal or two myself just for safekeeping. And then I think it's time for a discussion with Mr. Stinky. I think he needs a little talking to. Oh, what's going on out here? Find something to keep the pressure plate activated. Is it cheese? Oh, no, it's probably the only object in the room. <laughs> I don't even know what these things are. And now, oh my gosh, it's metal cheese. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, like where did giant metal blocks of cheese even come from? Like what is the purpose of those? I mean, other than decoration, beautiful interior design choice. Surprising for a prison. Um, didn't expect to see metal cheese. Anyway, I am looking for Mr. Stinky because I feel like it's the point in the obby where me and him need to have a heart to heart about his choices. Like, I'm a reasonable person. I'm not unsympathetic. Being a teacher sounds like a really, really hard job. Um, but I just do not think that the solution um, is to build your own prison and become a DIY prison guard. That's just weird. It's a weird choice. Um, kind of like sharpening the bottoms of tins of beans to turn them into dangerous weapons. Also a weird choice. Like, what was the thought process here? Mr. Stinky gets out a bunch of tins of beans. It's Tuesday. It's taco night. He's like, boom. What if the beans were deadly? His family's all like, no, Mr. Stinky, we are just looking for a delicious source of fiber and protein. And he's like, well, you know what? I could turn these beans into weapons. I could sharpen these tins into pointy, pointy daggers and hang them from the ceiling and use them to terrorize my former students. What do you think about that? So spare a thought for Mr. Stinky's family who desperately wish he would take up a more normal hobby. You know, like fishing, archery, cross-stitch, really almost anything other than DIY prisons. They're even like, yeah, you can sharpen tins of beans, I guess. Just like, do you have to use them to attack people? That's where it starts to get weird. Anyway, on the bright side, it looks like we are moving towards a skylight, which means that maybe we are getting closer to escaping. Do I just have to knock down this wall and oh, that looks like the outside and there's a flying fox. Oh my gosh, love a flying fox to safety. Oh, and I'm glad that I'm on it because this looks scary. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Um, skeletons and lava and sharp things and oh good, more statues. Why has he made so many statues? I guess my advice is don't make giant statues of yourself. It's kind of giving like dictator. Like there's just no need and it does make you look like a megalomaniac, which is a super cool word. That means someone who desires power. And I think we can all agree that Mr. Stinky fits the bill. Oh, whoa, okay, that was weird. We had a, a bit of a fallen pillar situation. Now I'm a bit worried that another pillar is gonna fall and crush me as I run across this open area. Okay, guess it was just a one-time thing, no problem. Um, what am I what am I trying to touch here in the middle? Seems important. Oh, start battle. Uh oh. Oh no, I got immediately defeated by the eye of super ultimate power and evil stuff. 
All right, try again, floating eyeball. This time I'm ready. You'll have to try a little bit harder to defeat me. Ooh, this is fun. I have never seen a boss battle like this before, and I am so delighted to be finally going head to head with Mr. Stinky's eyeball. It is kind of weird though, because he only has one eyeball, so I'm like, what's he doing right now when he's got zero eyeballs? He's just like back at the lair, chilling with no eyeballs. Oh no, oh look, it's stuck in the plank. Okay, I'm just keeping it, keep shooting it, keep shooting it, and then, ooh, this looks promising. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh no, why am I falling? Oh, okay. Maybe this is good. I defeated the eyeball. I escaped the prison. Have I won against Mr. Stinky? Oh my gosh. Okay, who's got the giant statue now? It's me. I'm the megalomaniac. I can't even remember how long I've been locked up in Mr. Edward's prison. But finally, finally, the prisoners are rioting. We are rising up together, and we are going to break out of this place. Me, personally, I will be exiting through this hole that I conveniently prepared earlier. Shocking, frankly, that the guards didn't notice. He's coming. Uh-oh, do they mean Mr. Edwards? I dare you to do this. Truly not necessary. Like, I enjoy a friendly dare as much as the next person, don't get me wrong. But I don't need any additional motivation. I really want to escape prison. I do not want to be here. Like, being locked up in a cell all day? Awful. That sign that said he's coming? Like, are they referring to Mr. Edwards? Terrifying. Here's the thing, though. I've never actually met Mr. Edwards in person before. I've just heard the rumors. I've heard that he is the scariest, meanest prison warden ever. Why is it so dark in here? I mean, that's a good question. Is it so dark in here because Mr. Edwards is in here? Uh, okay, I guess I've got no choice but to go this way. Yeah, I heard that Mr. Edwards is such an awful warden. There was even talk of closing the whole prison. Like, even these people who, like, love prisons are like, I don't know if we can have someone like Mr. Edwards running the prison. That's just how bad he is. And that's why we have to get out of here. So all of the prisoners rose up together to start a riot and distract the guards, and then that gives everybody a chance to try to escape. I'm a little bit concerned that I haven't run into any other prisoners, though. Oh, now I'm in the main part of the prison. I might see some people here. Oh, no. Lasers. Like you say, oh no, but I would rather deal with lasers than Mr. Edwards. Oh no, a prison guard! Is that Mr. Edwards? I don't even know what he looks like. Okay, it could be. He does look pretty scary and he's got weirdly pointy teeth. Oh no, this is bad. What if that is Mr. Edwards and now he knows what I look like? He might try to find me later to exact revenge on me. Don't be scared of these guys, by the way. They look tough, but they're actually a bunch of softies. Their bark is way worse than their bite. You can do it, my friends. You too can escape. I believe in you. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if they think that they're gonna get visitation hours during the riot. Maybe they're waiting for their like family to show up for a visit. That's so sad. You could just escape and then see them on the outside. Uh-oh, guard alert. Be very, very quiet. The guard is sleeping through a riot. Huh? Is he wearing slippers that look like bear paws? Truly unhinged behavior. I'm just gonna leave him to his snooze and get across this ravine. Looks like the other prisoners are still causing a ruckus. Thanks, everybody. This is definitely helping with my escape. I hope we all get out. I hope we all can escape. I will be looking to create distractions, and if I do make it out of here, I will be working on prison reform. But first, I gotta find my way out of here, and I have to evade Mr. Edwards. Oh my gosh, I really hope I don't see Mr. Edwards. Okay, 100% delighted that somebody actually managed to fill the whole cafeteria with bubblegum. We have been talking about this at the canteen for weeks. Everyone's been saving up all of their bubblegum, just waiting for the next riot to happen. Incredible work, everyone. 10 out of 10. Dare I? I dare. Okay, so we're underground. It's giving inside of a volcano. Lots of fiery ash, just like flying all over the place. Very atmosphere. So I've never actually been to Mr. Edwards' office, but if I had to like hazard a guess at where he would like his office, I think that he would probably love to have it down here. One thing that everybody says about Mr. Edwards is that he has a flair for the dramatic and this would be incredibly dramatic. So unfortunately, I think that means that the chances of running into him are increasing. Okay, into this tube. Ooh, lava waterfall. I mean, it's kind of pretty. It's definitely not as nice as a real waterfall, but I mean, down here underneath the prison, we'll take what we can get. Do we think this arrow is pointing to a way out or do we think it's a trick? Kind of hard to tell. Okay. Oh, we're back in the prison. 
And it looks like we've ended up in the toilet, which is unexpected, but fine. I was kind of hoping for outside of the prison, but all good. Apparently, the fiery lava cave beneath the prison was not the escape route that we all hoped it would be. But the riot continues to rage around us, so we have to take the opportunity in front of us. Oh, hello, fellow inmate. Hi. Let, let's escape together. I'll just, I'll just pop over here. Wow, the earthquake last week really did a number on the prison. It's incredibly dangerous. Look, look what I'm talking about. This is one of the reasons why it just shouldn't be a prison at all. Is anyone else starting to get worried that we have not seen hide nor hair of Mr. Edwards, the prison warden? Like, where is he hiding? Is he in this toxic pit of green sludge? Is he hiding behind that wet floor sign? Step number one when you're escaping prison, remain calm. Step number two, remain vigilant. Mr. Edwards, the warden, could be around any corner. He could be having a shower right now. He's like, look at me, I'm Mr. Edwards. I'm scrubbing my armpitties with body wash and a loofah. Well, enjoy those fresh armpits while you can, Mr. Edwards, because soon you will be sweating. Sweating when you find out how many prisoners have escaped. Into the slime! <laughs> Wow, if I escape this place, then that means I get to see my friends and family again, which is going to be so, so happy. I don't want to be rotting away in this place for a crime that I didn't even commit. Uh-oh, looks like the magma situation has escalated. I thought this was meant to be confined to the shadowy lair, but it looks like it's burnt up most of the gym and gym equipment. Nobody is going to want to do any bench presses if they are completely surrounded by fiery magma. Fitness levels will plummet and gains will be at an all-time low. Ooh, here we go. I feel like we're making some progress here. Some lasers that seem to be guarding. Oh, I think this is the guard station. Oh my gosh, we're making it out to the prison yard. Wow, this is scary. I wonder if we should have planned this riot at night. It does feel quite exposing. Just running through the prison court in the middle of the daytime. I'm like, what is even the point of these searchlights? Like, you can almost definitely see me. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a close one, and I think I've spotted Mr. Edwards. Okay, so plot twist, Mr. Edwards is a giant monster the size of Godzilla. I guess that's why I have never actually seen him around the prison, like he's too big to fit in the prison. I guess that's why he's just like hanging off a, oops. <laughs> this is why he's just hanging off a building. He's like, oh yeah, guys, if anyone needs me, I'll just be hanging off of my spire. Actually ridiculous behavior. Who ever heard of a giant warden? Very, very silly. I'm so glad I'm almost out of this place. Uh-oh. Why did it say, ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh, it's Edwards. It's Mr. Edwards. Why is he wearing a badge that says Bob? Bit weird. Maybe that's his full name. Mr. Bob Edwards. Giant Warden. <sighs> that's fine, actually. I was just checking things out. I didn't even think I was going to escape that time. That was just a practice escape. This one. This is my real escape. Just got to get around Bob here. Avoid the trees. That got me last time. He is pretty fast. And then we go up. Oh, oh, oh no, he's still there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> climb up, climb up, climb up. Okay, kind of obsessed with the fact that the warden literally cannot use a ladder. That's like my, my secret weapon. I just got to climb up a ladder and he's like helpless. <laughs> this is perfect. I just need to figure out a way to send a signal to the other inmates. The way to escape the warden is to climb up any ladder or really anything. He can't, he can't climb, basically. Just get a bit of altitude on that guy and you are out of there. Wait, how did he get onto the spire? Maybe he jumped. <gasps> Oops. Oh no, toxic grass. Makes you feel pretty powerful running on the rooftops and- Oh no, he's up there again! Mr. Edwards on his spire! He can't even catch me though. He just like stays up there watching. It's very weird behavior. That's fine. I'm gonna find my way out of here. We really need to do some maintenance on these roads. Huge potholes, but I'm gonna disappear into the city. They'll never be able to find me. Whoa. <laughs> I'll change my name. I'll dye my hair. I'll become completely invisible. And you know what? I think I made it. Time to assume a new identity.